Hello. We're here with another video today. A lot of people have asked about this one, which is, I mean, simply put, I've just been doing videos that people have been asking for recently. I mean, it's pretty easy when you guys give me the content. But uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, always giving me suggestions. Sometimes I'm able to take that stuff and make videos with it. So uh, this is one that people have been asking for. This is not a beginner series video. This is just a general video. We'll have more beginner series this week. But today we're going to be talking about the, the newest reworked faction, AIM. So we're going to be talking about the best AIM team. I'm going to give you my opinion, tell you what I think, show you what I think give them a good test a in action we'll see i mean a lot of different people have given me a lot of different opinions and so for me i'm kind of like thinking trying to figure out what's best what works and we're just going to talk about them i'll tell you what i like what i don't like and we'll go from there so cool cool all right so just hopping right into this right so we have the aim team so you can look at mine i still have not pulled the trigger on anything yet most of my resources and whatnot have gone into fantastic four because i think that fantastic four is dope so most of these guys are like tier five they're all level 50 i just haven't wanted to invest in them yet before i made the decision to see who was worth having in the team you know because that's important right because there's so many different ones it's hard to know like okay does this one work best does this one work best what works best so i can tell you the staples right so the staples are scientist supreme graviton aim security you got to have those in every team that you use i also kind of tend to think that aim researcher is pretty important but then you kind of get to the last slot and then it's just like dps it's like oh well which one do i want and i would say i don't know <laughs> it's kind of hard because for me i look at my aim infector who's six star can be six star has five red stars i'm like okay this dude's probably pretty good but out of those last three i just don't know if he is it really just kind of depends and is situational. Uh, so far, kind of where I'm at is I really like Aim Monstrosity the most, but Aim Assaulter is a very close second. A lot of people are liking Aim Assaulter. I don't know if you can necessarily go wrong with either of them or even any of the three, but uh, we're going to test them out. We'll test out Monstrosity, we'll test out Assaulter, we'll test out Infector. And just kind of see but those other four are pretty uh pretty much like you're gonna need those you're gonna want those because they give you your best team graviton really does make this team amazing with his passive ability here i mean he just gives them just better stats which is what i've always said right they need more health they need more damage so it's just kind of like one of those things that's what he does that's why he's gotta be on the team of course scientist supreme i mean she's got all kinds of stuff revives as always and just other stuff that just makes her better and good as far as just putting debuffs on the enemy team and healing it's just good i mean she fits with the team so we're going to test out these guys in some blitz battles just to see kind of how they are see what's up and just see how we're feeling with them again i i don't know i, I they're a really fun team i had put all my resources into fantastic four because i like fantastic four but this definitely isn't a bad team and you should feel fine about putting resources into them they're good and i think that they're pretty solid they have good sustain and you know it'll be seen how well they can work in raids i don't know yet i haven't been able to test but they'll probably be pretty similar to kree level in raids so like not bad but like not amazing either i think that they definitely uh, have opportunity to be a decent i mean they are now they're a pretty good faction they're certainly above average so let's get in let's test out these teams and see which one works best all right, so this is the team that I've personally been using. This is the way I kind of have them set up. It's an interesting conundrum because if you guys remember the positioning guide from last week, you know, you always want the tank on the corner, right? But it's kind of interesting with this team. I have the tank on the corner here and we can test it out. But when she taunts, she heals. So it's interesting to have her there. A lot of people are saying to swap her and research her spot and then you have a solid team. I'm not so convinced, but we are going to try it. We're going to swap them as that's what a lot of people have been telling me, which is an interesting, interesting thought process. They're really weak. Um, I do plan on leveling them up a bit more, but not quite yet. We're going to figure out what the best ones are. All right, guys, I just ran the first battle here and I had myself on the other side of the screen and I was covering up all the abilities I was talking about. So we're not going to use that footage. <laughs> so let's pick a team here. 
And, ooh, Sinister Six, that's probably a scary one. I don't know if I could win that one. Let's give it a try. See if they can beat Sinister Six with Minerva. They don't have Green Goblin, so it'll be interesting to see how this match goes. And I don't know, we're just gonna see. The thing about this team that I'm really not worried about is that they just do a lot of, uh, they do a lot of debuffs and I can just flip them. You know, no big deal, really. So we'll go ahead. It really just depends on what you wanna do. We could probably one shot him here with this ability. So we're just go ahead and do it. Bam, there you go, look at that. Now Minerva is probably gonna revive. So maybe that wasn't necessarily the best ability or best use of that, but it is pretty cool to be able to do it. Let's go ahead and do this, get some healing, just top us off here. This dude's just gonna punch the crap out of us. All right, cool, got rid of that. Let's just get her out of here. Go ahead and get that taunt up. All right. Not really a big deal. So, I mean, if you see, like, they're just, like, kind of cleansing themselves, which is interesting. We'll go ahead and use this. I like that ability with offense up. It's really strong. All right. Now, if Rhino was in the middle, that would have been a lot more helpful to his team. But since he was not, he didn't cleanse the people who really needed to be cleansed. So, we'll just keep beating him up. We don't need to flip anything. And that's, I mean, this gives regen, which we actually are going to do just to get the regens on. I mean, it just seems important to have some of those. All right. Cool. See you later. Ooh, all right. I mean, they're hitting me, but, like, they're just not really doing too much. Oh, dodged. All right, let's just give them some more debuffs, give us some more health. All right, boom. Get out of here, buddy. All right, we'll punch him out, get him out of here. We already had him out of here once, so not really a big deal. Yeah, I mean, whatever, right? Like, no big deal. Like, we're at full health. It's all, all good in the hood. Easy peasy. Now, again, there's low-level blitz, but... I mean, still, Sinister Six can, is pretty strong. Now, again, this setup is my personal favorite, but we're going to try. We're going to put in Aim Assaulter instead of Aim Monstrosity because a lot of people are saying that they like Assaulter better. Actually, you know what? We'll save the best for last. We'll do Infector first, and then we'll do Assaulter. Just to kind of see. I don't think that Infector is as good. Something about him is just not really that special. I'm not sure what it is. Let's fight Defenders and see what happens. Yeah, but something about... Infector just is not really that impressive to me. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, I always liked him before, but I don't know. It's not all that impressive to me. So, all right, let's go ahead. It's flippy flippy. Oh, it's not the flipping. I'm sorry. I lied. No flippy flippy. All right. So with him, when you use his ability, he can give counter to people. And uh, at higher level, I think it's guaranteed to gain counter. So we'll just use that. There we go. Got some counter attacks. That works. Now... We could take him out that would be awesome so let's try it Ooh, so close but at least we stunned him because his aoe would tear us up if we let him land that because this is an all villains team so we'll just get him out of here do this get some healing going then we have uh counter attack on the tank which is pretty cool i think that if we needed to we can just like outlast the healing and we'd be good to go we can outlast our iron fist so we don't really have to worry about him right now so we can just kind of ignore him and just try and get Daredevil out of here. All right, uh, I'll just go ahead and do this. Get some slows, get some bleeds. Ah, I knew that was coming soon. So that's kind of the hard part is the Jessica Jones. I mean, we, we do some debuffs with this team for sure, but I think we're okay right now. Should be fine. Again, this is low level blitz. Defenders might be a lot harder at high level because you'd really have to take out punisher really quickly so that he would not just blast you for sure because he definitely would i mean punisher would give it to you and so like if you see like i mean we're, we're fine i mean we're okay like we got healing and stuff so i mean it's not really like all that serious and we're kind of like stuck behind this taunt but like we're gonna get him out of here in just a second we'll go ahead and get some health taunt again go ahead and get some counter attacks on everybody there all right, cool. So we got him out of here. Let's go ahead and flip this so we get defense up, regens, speed ups. All right, cool. See you later. We'll go ahead and just punch him. We'll give him a debuff there. Let's go ahead and use this. I'll get rid of him. See you later. And then we'll just finish her off. Now, I guess the thing is, I don't really think that aim infector did anything. Like, he just gave counter attack up, which really didn't do anything. But he pretty much did that the whole time, which is interesting. I don't know. Again, maybe against certain teams that would be good, but it really felt kind of useless. Now, not to say, I mean, it just seemed like he didn't really do that much, you know? So, I don't know. I'm not sure 
what he really contributed to the team there, but I mean, we've got to test it and see. I mean, he's my highest red stars for the team, so I just don't really think he contributed that much. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but let's find Amos Salter. Give him a go. Like I said, a lot of people seem to really like Amos Salter when it comes to this team. I'm certainly on the fence between a Salter and Infector, so I'm thinking I kind of want to try this Guardians team just to see. I don't know if we're going to beat them, and that could just be because Guardians is meta still, but they're like on the back end of meta at least and so let's just see i mean at low level blitz let's do this maybe get some offense down on them all right cool we got some offense down on the big hitters so that's not too scary yeah okay that worked pretty well actually so all right so with this ability it's pretty interesting right so attack primary target for 175 percent damage if this character has a negative side effect bonus attack per negative side effect on targets well we don't have any negative side effects so we're not going to use it so just use the regular attack and then we'll just go ahead and do this we really need to get through this guy all right do we really need healing no so we'll just attack get that taunt going now is there anything we want to flip not really because i don't want to flip the speed downs because that lets her taunt for longer if she's got speed down so we'll just leave that all right well she cleansed herself anyway so all right he still doesn't have any negative effects on himself so we're just gonna shoot all right cool so she just went ahead and cleansed that stuff now you can see we can stun somebody i'd love to stun rocket here Poof. just so that that way he doesn't use his aoe we would just kind of top off the healing here might as well i guess so we still don't have a negative side effect so if we attack it's just going to do one attack but he gains the speed up i guess that was the only thing i could have used at first turn for the speed up wouldn't have been a mistake i don't think but just go ahead keep going keep going all right just keep blasting all right, he keeps getting a lot of a lot of speed up here. All right, let's go ahead, boom, get out of here. See you later, Rocket. All right, he just gained some good buffs there. Go ahead and flip some stuff on them. Go ahead and taunt. All right, still no negative side effects, so it doesn't really matter. He does bleed on his basics, so that's pretty cool. We'll just go ahead and keep beating up Groot here. Not really a big deal, because he's gonna die in a second. All right, still nothing, so we'll do that. Give the speed up, though, and then pow gone that felt a lot easier maybe than it would normally be but i don't know at relevant power levels they seem to really get the job done i mean i don't know like that wasn't a hard battle at all because we just kept going and we got the offense down on them early in the beginning of the match and so like they really weren't able to do anything which was nice so what do you guys think uh what i know again some people like assaulter some people like monstrosity i haven't heard anybody talk positively about aim infector we're going to run battle here with monstrosity again that's just my personal preference and i kind of like going against defenders that was kind of a bit of a challenge because of jessica jones you know and at higher levels uh when the abilities are maxed out it'll be it'll be a bit different for like who you're facing because like Jessica Jones can clear all debuffs, or Groot can clear most of the debuffs, and so it's like, it's an interesting conundrum the later you get into the game, because you just don't really know, you know, I mean, you do know, I'm sorry, so it makes it a bit, just a bit different, and so like, certain people are going to be different, and you obviously have to keep that in mind, so we'll do this, we'll get the offense up, go ahead and taunt, but the offense up on Graviton when he does his big attack is pretty helpful, I think. Go ahead and shoot him. All right. So now watch this. We should be able to one-shot this guy here. Kapow! There we go. 30,000 damage at level 50. <laughs> that's pretty impressive, don't you think? I think that's, like, very impressive. So we'll just go ahead and just beat up Luke Cage here. Pow, pow. I just feel like Aim Monstrosity giving that offense up to Graviton, I think, is a big deal. And, uh... Amos Alter doesn't do that. Now, I'm not sure why you would pick Amos Alter over Monstrosity. I know somebody in my comments on my last video said because Monstrosity is too big. Um, <laughs> doesn't really seem like a good reason to not use him though. So, poof, goodbye. Very easy. I mean, we're not having trouble. We're not at all. And again, I think at relevant power levels and relevant gearing, they could do great in raids because they have a ton of healing. They can manage buffs and debuffs. They can deal out pretty decent damage. And so it's like, you know, I mean, 
I don't know. The only thing that they kind of struggle with is getting through taunts. That's kind of a hard thing. But aside from that, I mean, they can just kind of, it, it seems like they can wear people down, just wear them and tear them down pretty easily. So maybe that won't be as big of a deal. I guess we'll see. I mean, you can also, of course, mix and match. I mean, you could swap out researcher who, I mean, researcher or even, I guess, monstrosity. I mean, imagine if you put in, if you took out researcher and put in Minerva, and then imagine if you took out, I guess, monstrosity and put in like Ultron, you probably would be in pretty good shape as far as this goes. This team is good for raids. I thought they were all bio characters, but they're not. And uh, so only a few of them are Graviton, Aim Infector, and I think Monstrosity are bio, but the rest of them are not. So certainly something to consider. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get like an aim trait in the future raids. We might, it might get added onto some other ones. I guess we'll, we'll be left to see because you won't really be able to use this team on like the bio nodes or like the tech nodes because they're gonna be split up. So again, well, it'll be interesting to see, like, I don't know, do you use Graviton, Aim Infector, Aim Monstrosity, and then whoever else you want to on bio nodes? I don't know. I mean, it may happen. Graviton might be okay outside of that stuff, as he does have something he has a pretty decent kit. I don't really know. But as far as kind of like what I can gather is that I would put Aim Security, Aim Researcher, Aim Monstrosity, and Scientist Supreme with Graviton, and that makes my favorite team. I think it could be good for raids. I think it could be good for... It's definitely good for Blitz. It's not going to be good for Arena. But as far as raids and Blitz, I think it's a pretty good, solid team. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I think. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think down below. Uh, it's a fun team. It's certainly a fun team. So if you haven't tried it, definitely give it a try. At these low levels, it's fun. I'm hoping to take them up here soon. Maybe we'll do another updated video later on about them. But overall, great team. A lot of fun and I enjoyed playing them. So guys, make sure to smash that subscribe button, uh, leave comments down below on what your thoughts are, what team you're using, and why you're using it, and uh, like this video if you did enjoy. That's all we got. So I thank you guys so much once again. Um, also, quick shout out, we made it to 4,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is a super cool milestone. I love it, I'm so thrilled, and I'm thankful that you guys are enjoying the content. We're gonna keep going up and up from here, so thanks so far th for the support, and thanks for the future support moving forward. Have a great rest of your day.